Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with CostelloWellness.com, and we're going to talk today about a new class of drugs for insomnia. So in the 1930s and 40s, we had benzodiazepines. These are Valium and Xanax and Clonopin, uh, very sedating, uh, unfortunately very addictive, habit-forming, not a good choice for chronic sleep management. In the 1970s, we developed our first antidepressant medicines like trazodone and amitriptyline, and these had significant side effect of sedation, so we took advantage of that and gave it to people at nighttime to help them sleep. Also, not the greatest sleep in the world. Uh, next came Ambien and Lunesta. Uh, these are also very sedating drugs. They have a hangover effect. They're not very restful or restorative sleep. Um, you have weird side effects like going out and driving and not remembering or waking up in the morning with a chicken carcass on your chest and not realizing that you were up eating in the middle of the night. Not good choices. Uh, there was a medicine called Rosarum, and this was a unique medication that, if you remember the TV commercials with Abe Lincoln sitting at the kitchen table with a uh, beaver and a man who couldn't sleep, that was Rosarum. Now, this medication actually raised melatonin levels in the brain, and melatonin uh, stimulates the sleep cycle. The problem was is that it took two to four weeks to be effective, and people were so impatient that they would take it for two days, it didn't work, and they would want to be on Ambien. Uh, we have melatonin you can take over the counter. The problem is, is that melatonin in your gut doesn't make it into your brain, so it's really not that helpful. This new medication called Bell Sorma, Bell or Beautiful Sorma for Sleep, uh, actually is an orexin uh, neurotransmitter inhibitor. We know about neurotransmitters, norepinephrine, dopamine, serotonin. These are responsible for our wakefulness cycle. Uh, this orexin also is in the brain and responsible for us being awake. When we go to bed at night and try and go to sleep, our brain sends blocking chemicals that block these neurotransmitters that keep us aroused and awake and then throw in some neurotransmitters that help us to sleep. So we have to turn off the wake cycle before we can turn on the sleep cycle. And what this medication does is it's an orexin inhibitor. It actually blocks this neurotransmitter selectively at bedtime and helps you turn off the awake cycle and let your normal sleep cycle kick in. Because I'm not giving you technically anything that causes sedation, these are your normal chemicals working in your brain, it really doesn't have a lot of side effects. It supposedly is a restorative or restful sleep as well. Um, it's not habit forming or addictive. Um, it works as soon as the first dose. You take it a half an hour before bed. I have not tried the drug as of today. I'm interested if anybody's been on the drug, uh, what their uh, effects were. I'm going to try some as soon as I get it in the office. I'll give it to a couple of patients and see uh, what they do. But it's a brand new class of drug. I'm a little bit excited. Uh, I've never heard of Orexin before, so um, this is new to me. So we'll see if this replaces the old-fashioned sleep drugs or not. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.